Hi everyone, Yasaske Carlos Tirtata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a delicious dip. It's a classic Greek dip, but you can use this as a dip, as a spread, as an appetizer. It's so easy to make, you don't have to cook anything. Everything just blends together in the food processor. We're going to be making tiro kafteri, which is a spicy feta dip. Let's get started. So everything's going to go into my food processor. I'm going to begin with two cloves of garlic and I'm going to pulse them until they're finely chopped. Next, I'm going to add all the remaining ingredients in here. Two roasted red peppers straight from the jar. I just drained all the liquid out of them and then I just put it in here. You're going to need between 10 to 12 ounces if you're weighing them. About eight ounces of feta cheese, lots of crushed red pepper flakes, or you can add a spicy chili pepper in here if you like. The juice of half a lemon, a cup of yogurt. I'm using Greek yogurt. This is full fat Greek yogurt quarter of a cup of olive oil or a little bit more, it depends how much you want in here. And then just pulse this until it's smooth. Go in and taste it once it's done. And if it needs a little bit more salt or some more crushed red pepper flakes, go ahead and add them. I like my dip a little bit spicier, so I am gonna add some more crushed red pepper flakes. Pulse it a few more times until it's nice and smooth and it's ready. I like to toast the pine nuts that are gonna be garnished on top. So I just put them in a little skillet over medium heat until they become nice and golden. Keep moving them around so that way they don't burn. They are gonna to toast in like three or four minutes. So keep an eye on them and take them off the heat as soon as they're done. And that's it. Okay, so once the whole dip is put together, you can transfer it to a container and then refrigerate it for about three, four hours or overnight. So that way the flavors can intensify and marry. They're gonna taste way better than if you just serve it right away once it's made. Trust me on that. It stays fresh in the refrigerator for a long time, so you can make this ahead of time if you're bringing it to a party or if you're serving it as an appetizer for one of your get-togethers. Three, four days ahead of time is perfect. It's so good. In Greece, they like to put this in souvlaki and gyro, and it just tastes so good. They give you the option of a spicy feta dip, tzatziki, or just plain yogurt. Really good. All right, time for the taste test. Oh my goodness. So much flavor. Just the right amount of spice. If you want it even more spicy, you can, you can tone it down with the crushed red pepper flakes, and you could add a spicy like a chili, maybe a serrano pepper or something like that. I would take out the seeds before I did that, otherwise it's gonna be too spicy. But you can customize it to your liking. I top mine off with some toasted pine nuts, some roughly chopped kalamata olives, and some fresh parsley, and a nice drizzling of olive oil. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And if you do, make sure you save some because the next recipe that I'll be sharing using this spicy feta dip are, are my spicy feta and cheese sliders. You don't want to miss that recipe. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you want to print this recipe out, it's on the website, dimitrosicious.com. Yes, us.